This episode, like all the other episodes for the past couple weeks, is sponsored by Do Big Things. Do Big Things is a conference we're putting on here locally in South Florida to motivate and inspire entrepreneurs, sales professionals, people like you and me to take action and to do big things. We all have something we want to do, right? You all have something in the back of our minds that we're like, oh, we can't do that. It's too tough. It's too hard. Get rid of it. That's what we do in this conference. We're going to help you to take action. If I had kept that mindset, this podcast wouldn't be here. The actual sales evangelist organization would not be here at all. But I took action and now look where we are. Started from the bottom and now we're here. I want to share with you what worked for me and we're having 12 speakers who are going to share their insights on how they took action and did their big things. We want to help you. If you can't make it to South Florida, I understand. In that case, you have to check out the virtual ticket. Go to dobigthings.net. Again, dobigthings.net. Sales from the street. Yes, sir. This episode of Sales from the Street is where I bring on sales professionals, entrepreneurs, people like you and me who have a sales challenge. They talk about how they overcame that challenge and the result they saw. You're going to love what my buddy Gonzalo has to say today. Roof, roof. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. As you know, on this episode, I bring it on someone. I bring on people who have I mean, people who are going through sales challenges, people who have gone through some kind of difficulty, and they you know, talk about what they did to overcome it. None of us perfect. None of us have a perfect business. We all have difficulties and challenges. But the great thing is, once we get past that difficulty, we can see amazing results. So maybe you have something you overcame. You'd probably be a great guest for these episodes. But again, this is going to be a fun one. My buddy today is Gonzalo. Gonzalo is actually a sales manager, and he does some speaking on the side, does some great things. And uh, he, was, he gave us an example about a book that he read and how it relates to salespeople being different types of dogs. Very interesting stuff. We have some more nuggets and some more takeaways in our show notes and also the book that he recommended in our show notes. Just go to thesalesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode number 399. Thesalesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode the number 399. I won't take up a lot more time. I just want to give a few shout outs this week. I want to give a big shout out to Kurt Rapp and his wife. We got a chance to connect with them this week. Christina and I went out with them, visit here locally. Also want to give a big, huge shout out to Dave. Thank you so much for connecting. Also to Rick. Thank you so much for connecting. And Ben, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for connecting with me. If you would like to connect as well, find me on LinkedIn, Donald C. Kelly, or on Twitter, Donald C. Kelly, or you can go ahead and find me on Instagram, Donald C. Kelly. Either one of these places, I'll be more than willing to personally connect with you. Both on Facebook and LinkedIn, we have private groups. Shh, it's called the Sales Evangelizers. Now, the Sales Evangelizers is a community for listeners of the podcast, sales professionals, entrepreneurs, people like you and me. If you have a friend who's not listening to the podcast, bring them here. We want to get insights from other sellers. Simply go to Facebook or LinkedIn and search for the Sales Evangelizers. One of the admin or myself would love to add you. I won't take up much more time. We got some great information coming with Gonzalo. Let's go ahead and dive into the episode. Welcome to the show, Gonzalo. Hello, Donald. Thank you so much for the invitation. Well, I'm excited to have you, man. It's uh, it's great to connect with a fellow Floridian, someone right down here in my backyard. So it's always cool to learn from others, man. Yes, believe me, it's a pleasure to live in Miami. You know, you can. One of the beautiful things about this city is like after a beautiful day selling out there on the street. You can go to the beach at 6 p.m. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, this episode, as I mentioned in the beginning, is called Sales from the Street. And I like to bring folks on like yourself, like me, people who are, you know, we're out there hitting, hitting the streets. We come across different challenges, difficulties. We find solution and we see the outcome. So we're going to talk about that. But before we dive into that, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you do, Gonzalo? Well, I actually, I am the sales manager for a uh, litigation support company. So I provide services to big law firms or solo practitioners in the law field. Basically, what I do is I'm the backbone of the litigation area. So I provide court reporters, videographers, process servers, interpreters, legal translations, everything related to the litigation area. Uh, Whatever the law firm doesn't do, I provide that. So basically, my main labor is to get together with the attorneys, with the office administrators, and tell them about my company, the benefits that they're going to get, and they hire my company. Well, congratulations, man. That's awesome, man. Yes. 
Well, I want to dive into this episode and talk a little bit more about this challenge because I'm sure you came across some sales challenge. Why don't you tell us about your challenge that you faced? Oh, yeah, of course. Actually, you know what? The, this is probably a challenge that every single sales manager has faced at some point or will face at some point. So we know that training to our sales reps is mandatory. I mean, there's no question about it. You have to train your people. Otherwise, this is something that Stephen Covey used to call uh, sharpen the saw, right? You have yeah, to yeah. always go with uh, sharpening the saw while you are you know, pretty much doing your activity, which is selling. So I have a training for my people. I have three sales reps. While I, I was training them, I noticed that my training wasn't a good fit for everyone. Mm. And, I, and I was questioning, wait a minute, am I using the same process that they use in the Western education, that they standard education for everyone, expecting good results when every single person has a different personality, different background, different values, etc. So I started thinking about this. And, you know, when you put your energy out there, you will attract something that will bring an answer to whatever question you are holding in your mind, right? So I came across with a beautiful book that actually was the total revelation and the solution for this challenge. The book is called Sales Dogs. Sales Dogs. Sales Dogs. You can, if you put Google, you will see the result or you can look it up on Amazon. Sales Dogs by Brian Singer. So now, there is a beautiful story behind this book because Brian Singer, back in the day, I think it was uh, during the 80s, he was the number one salesperson at Xerox. And this other guy was competing to be the number one salesperson. Robert Kiyosaki was always competing. So this guy, Robert Kiyosaki, later on uh, published this book called Rich That, Poor That, right? Yeah, yeah. And this guy created the Rich That Foundation, where he actually teaches people, you know, the secrets and all the nuances that people need to know in order to make wealth. So he realized that knowing how to sell is extremely important. So he actually called his friend, former co-worker at Xerox, Brian Singer, to, he called him to his team and he tell, told him, hey, would you publish a book about sales on my collection, Rich That? And he said, yeah, of course. So he published this book, Sales Dogs. So now, why this book helped me to solve this challenge? Very simple. I realized that every single salesperson is a different breed of dog, okay? So this guy classified five different types of salespeople. The Chihuahua, the, Ro <laughs> the Rottweiler, the Basset Hound, the Poodle, and the Labrador. So as a general rule, you always have your main breed and kind of like a secondary breed, you know? Your main breed is probably 80% that fits with your personality and 20% is your secondary breed. So the Chihuahua, for example, we all know the salesperson is the, the one that knows absolutely everything about the product or service. Absolutely everything. The Chihuahua is the tech guy, is the guy that whatever question you come, you come up with, this person will answer that right away because the main strength of this person is the knowledge that they have about products or product or service. And the prospect can see such a big level of certainty of this person talking about the products or service that they will buy. So that's the Chihuahua. The Rottweiler, that's self-explanatory, is the one that will go and bite your neck, you know, is the closer, is the aggressive, is the one that it goes every day out there looking for no's. Until the yes, no matter what, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a numbers game, will come. But it's extremely aggressive. We all know the Rottweilers, the typical aggressive closer. The following is the Basset Hound. We all know the salesperson. The Basset Hound maybe is not very well dressed. Maybe doesn't know that much about their products or service, but is persistent. Will be <laughs> persistent. 
persistent, persistent, persistent forever. This person will call you a year later, two years later, three years later, and maybe four years later, you will say, wait a minute, this guy is being persistent. I will buy from this guy. I can trust this guy. The following sales dog is the poodle. And the poodle is the one that will go and do the sales presentation to you, maybe wearing an Armani suit, driving a Maserati, you know, the one that is kind of like telling you on a subtle level, eh, you are, I'm doing you a favor by giving you my sales presentation. So this person has mastered social skills. So sooner or later you buy from this person because people kind of feel important just by being, having lunch in a restaurant with this person, you know, that's a poodle. And finally, the Labrador. The Labrador is the one, by the way, the Labrador is my sale dog breed, right? Mm -hmm. And is the one that will become your friend. Is the one that will care about creating a relationship. Is the one that won't care that much at the very beginning on the close, but will create such a great relationship, will follow up properly, will do the step-by-step that are mandatory in the sales career, that this person will place on you such a big level of trust that they will become your clients forever. So when I realized that this existed, I started tweaking, making these two millimeter changes in every training that I was providing to my sales reps, understanding that each of them were completely different breeds of dogs. And guess what? When I did my measurement after that, I realized that I increased my sales in a matter of 90 days by 18%. So I overcame this challenge just by getting the proper information and applying that on my sales team. Wow. So the sellers started to improve because you focused on them based on their needs, right? Exactly. And of course, on, based on each personality, I was providing the right training and guiding them towards creating the proper relationship based or at least understanding which breed they were. So on my team, I had one Rottweiler, one Labrador, and one Chihuahua. So <laughs> yeah. And believe me, that made a huge difference on my sales team. Well, dude, that is awesome. And congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if there's one major takeaway you'd like people listening to this episode to walk away with, what's that one major tip? The one single tip that I always give to every single person that I come across that is on the sales career, I got to tell you, focus on creating a relationship. The closing is the mandatory next step of a great relationship. Nice, that, man. That would be my advice. I like it. I like it. And if folks out there listening want to get in touch with you, they're like, this guy's cool. I need to get connected with him. So when I get to Miami, I can hang out. What's the best way for them to connect with you? You can actually go to my website. It's GonzaloSalinas.com. It's, uh, I'm going to spell that for you. It's G-O-N-Z-A-L-O-S-A-L-I-N-A-S.com. And um, you can actually shoot me an email. And uh, I live in Miami. I'm always open to do, you know, one-to-ones, people who want to just get to work for a coffee. I love to meet people, business people, salespeople, and exchange ideas. And, you know, I'm pretty open. Awesome, man. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show, sharing this tip. This book is going to be probably one that I'm going to look up right now and try to get that studied. So that's awesome material, man. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Donald, for the invitation and congratulations on the show. I know it's doing pretty well. Thank you, sir. Bye. How about one? Man knows his stuff. I told you, Gonzalo knows his stuff. Great insights. If you're down here in Miami, I'm, I know Gonzalo will be more than willing to connect with you and to meet up to have a little breakfast or a little lunch or, you know, dinner or whatever. He's like all about connecting. Um, he's down there in Miami. So, you know, the title of Mr. 305 is already taken by Pitbull, but, you know, we can still give that to him as well. So <laughs> go ahead and check it out. Go if you want to connect with my boy, Gonzalo, simply go to the salesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode number 399 thesalesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode number 399. Get access to that book that he mentioned. And uh, thank you guys so much for helping us, man. Tomorrow is going to be episode 400. And it's like amazing that our podcast, this little thing started here in our 
you know, in my in our house here in South Florida, it's grown to the point where we have 400 episodes and we have listeners all over the world. And it comes to just have to go back, go back to you because you have helped me to be able to spread the word to evangelize about effective selling. You've told your friends, your families, your coworkers, your bosses, and everyone you know about the show. So thank you so much. If you don't mind, if you have not done so already, as we come up on this 400th episode, I would ask two things. One, if you don't mind, please share, write a review. If you're listening to this podcast on iTunes, go to iTunes and leave us a rating and review. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you listen to it on Stitcher or on Google Play or some other podcast directory, just leave us a review. It helps others to see what the show is all about. And it's exciting. So thank you so much if you'd be willing to do that. And then also tell somebody else about the show. If you know someone that would benefit from the podcast, tell them. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's help to make sure that as we go into our 400 episode tomorrow that we, you know, have a great, great day. So thanks again so much. As always, I want you to be successful. I want you to be happy. But most importantly, I want you to go out and do big things. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, baby. Stay tuned for some more episode. Take a listen to our next episode. Most of your prospects want to be entertained. Then they want to be educated. You know, you don't want to just sit down there and just do something that's going to be boring. You want to give them an entertainment factor. So one of the best ways to do the entertainment factor is to use whiteboards. 